I'm Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief for your top stories every Monday to Thursday and brought to you, as always, by Lay of the Land. Now, just to note this week, we will only have headlines from Monday to Wednesday, as on Thursday, I will be traveling abroad. So let's get into those top stories. And we begin with news that 60-year-old Shai Nigraka and his 28-year-old son, Aviad, from Ashdod, have been buried following a terror attack that took place on Saturday in the Palestinian town of Huwara in Judea and Samaria. The father and son are believed to have uh, visited Huwara often and had stopped at a car wash. Uh, We now have breaking news details that employees of the car wash heard them speaking Hebrew and alerted the terrorists to open fire at point-blank range, killing them uh, immediately. There is still a manhunt underway for the terrorists responsible. And earlier today, a 40-year-old kindergarten teacher by the name of Batsheva Nagari was murdered in a car along with a a 30-something-year-old male who is in serious condition as they were traveling on Road 60 very close to Hebron. Nagari's six-year-old daughter was also in the car and somehow managed to escape unharmed. It is only by sheer miracle that this child wasn't harmed because I've seen the footage of what the car looks like and it's absolutely shocking. At the moment there is a manhunt underway for those terrorists as well. Meanwhile, Defence Minister Yoav Gallant is meeting with his security chiefs to assess the situation. Far-right politicians from Otzme Yehudit have taken the opportunity to blame the Defence Minister and Israeli security forces for what they're saying are not doing enough to stop the wave of terror. They haven't given their uh, solution as to how to combat this effectively. Earlier today, local federations enacted a two-hour warning strike in solidarity with Arab communities. Now, Arab uh, communal leaders, municipalities are on strike following the announcement by Finance Minister Betzalel Smotrich to withhold 200 million shekels of money allocated to Arab communities. This money is to be used for education, for social and cultural upliftment. The the foreign minister, uh, the finance minister, sorry, while being implored by the prime minister to hand over that money, has said he will re-examine where the money should go. Meanwhile, yesterday the government approved a 3.2 billion plan for East Jerusalem. This is a predominantly uh, Arab uh, part of the city and this money will be used to improve infrastructure, social services, health, sewage, education, employment opportunities and more. For two days in a row, Kipat Bazel, that is the Iron Dome, has intercepted UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles uh, flying in or cross, trying to cross the border from Gaza into Israel. The IDF said today that neither of these drones, which had been successfully intercepted by the Iron Dome, had crossed into Israeli territory and posed any threat to Israeli civilians. And finally, because we really try and end on a good note, Israel's lady windsurfers have taken gold and silver at the Women's Windsurfing Champions. Shacha Tibi took the gold and Katie Spichkov took the silver. And uh, Tibi dedicated her win to Lee Corsets, a windsurfing champion here in Israel who is battling cancer. We wish her a full recovery. And that brings us to the end of today's edition of the Israel Brief. Please don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. If you want to receive our weekly newsletter, please be in touch with us via our website or via our Facebook page. And you can find us at Lottl site, that's at L-O-T-L-S-I-T-E. Our YouTube channel is at the Israel Brief. Please, if you like our content, consider subscribing.
and we're on Twitter at Lay of the Land Five. I'm Raleen Marks, and I will see you again for your top stories tomorrow.